Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a uh, speed build here on my channel, another one. Um, I know I've said this a million times, I'll say it again, I love doing speed builds. I'm so happy that I have, you know, been doing more of them. Um, it is difficult for me to kind of like find times to actually do a speed build and build a house, but let me tell you guys, I've been thoroughly enjoying, you know, doing these more often. I think it's so much fun and it's just amazing. Um, <laughs> today we are doing a pastel cottage, um, is what I've titled it at least. It's a very colorful little cottage home. I don't really know if this is like technically like a cottage style home, but I thought the name was cute so I went with it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's super cute. It's just one bedroom, one bathroom. It's very small. It's about 41,000 simoleons. Um, it is available for download off of my gallery, 100% CC free as all of my builds are. And I think it's really cute and I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. So, you know, there's that. Uh, it's in Willow Creek, or at least that's where I built it, on a 20 by 15 lot, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's a super tiny lot, so obviously I had to be a really tiny house. Uh, no backyard or anything like that. It's just very quaint, I guess you could say. So I really like it. I think it's adorable. Um, and I'm fairly, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it, you know. I really liked experimenting, you know, with so many different colors because it's not something that I do very often, and especially since the last build I did was the Mediterranean Starter Home. Um, I'll link it in the description if you haven't seen it, but that build was very like a lot of browns and neutral tones and like not a lot of color so it was definitely very weird going from building that to building this home which is like super colorful and exciting and ex it's just it was different because they're such different homes you know what i mean but either way i love both of them so much and i think this one it turned out really really well um i especially like the little patio deck out front i think it's super cute um, but anyways, I'm going to stop talking about the build now. I know, surprise, surprise, and I have a story that I actually want to tell you guys today, and I've been meaning to tell you guys this story for a, the longest time, but for whatever reason, whenever I go to record a voiceover, I just like completely forget about this story that I want to tell you guys. It's about something that happened to me at work. Um, this happened like probably a year ago. And it's not really that exciting of a story, I'm going to be honest with you, but it was just something that happened that like really freaked me out, I guess. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys because I thought of it the other day and I was like, man, that happened. That was a thing that happened to me. So um, one day I was working, I work at a grocery store, I'm a cashier, and I was off at like, let's say 9 p.m. and it was like 8.58, right? So. I have like two minutes left in my shift and um, the store is really quiet but these three people walk up to my till and obviously I still have two minutes left so I'm gonna take them but I turn off my light and put my clothes sign at the end of their order so because I'm going home after them right and so they obviously can put two and two together they know that they're my last you know order of the day I'm going home I'm you know they get it they can obviously tell that I'm leaving after them which I promise is important to the story later. So put up my clothes sign, take their order, and I'm just, I'm not trying to stereotype or anything. I don't want to like um, seem like everyone who looks like this is like a sketchy person. I'm just trying to, you know, give you context, set the stage. So there were these three people, two guys and a girl. All of them were covered, head to toe in tattoos. Um, they were wearing all black hoods up, like just like, people that like when you see them like you don't really want to like go up and have a conversation with them because they just kind of seem like the type of people you wouldn't bother you know like i don't know they just not to be rude like i'm not saying everyone who has tattoos is like a really sketchy person but they just had that look about them you know what i mean anyways but you know i didn't really think anything of it they just seemed like you know a regular group of friends coming through my till like it, it wasn't a big deal i wasn't worried about it I ran through their order. They weren't talkative at all. They didn't really say much, um, but I'm also not a talkative cashier. I didn't say much either, so it was kind of like a two-way street, but didn't say much. Very quiet. I ring through their order. 
like they pay cash and they leave and as soon as they leave I don't even think they left the store yet they probably saw me you know sign out of my till and go and punch out so I punch out I'm going home so I'm walking over to the stairs to go up to the break room to get my stuff and one of my co-workers who I absolutely love she's like a grandmother to me she's amazing but she like stopped me and she's like Amber did that guy like say anything weird to you and I was like, um, no, not really. He like didn't really talk much. Why? And she was like, well, it's just because he used to go to school with my son and he's like a really bad kid. And I was like, okay, like elaborate, please. She's like, yeah, he like was selling hard drugs and stuff. He ended up going to jail for kidnapping and rape. And I was like, girl, like, why would you come up and tell me that? He just came through my till. He knows I'm going home. He, I'm just about to walk outside to where he is, now knowing that he could be waiting outside the doors to kidnap me. Like, honey, why, why would you give me this information? Because now I'm just freaked out. I mean, at the end of the day, I left the store and like they were, go they were just minding their own business, doing some grocery shopping. Like, it wasn't a big deal. But still, like, <laughs> why would you say that to me? I was, like, 16, like, very afraid, small, defenseless girl about to go outside where I now know that there's, like, a kidnapper out there. Like, I don't want that. I don't want to know that, like, I could have gone my whole life just and not even remember this dude. But now I remember him as, oh, that one kidnapper that came through my tail that, yeah, that happened. Like, it's just weird, okay? <laughs> I don't want that association in my brain. I don't want this memory anymore. I'm not saying, like, I don't know. <laughs> it was just kind of a freaky thing to happen, you know? Because it's just like, oh, that's good. I'm so glad to know that this person who I just interacted with is actually a kidnapper. It's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I just think about that story sometimes. I'm just like, man, that one time I met a kidnapper and it was just really uncomfortable. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not that exciting of a story, but it's just, I just wanted to talk about it because it happened. It's real. That's some real life stuff that, that happened to me that one time. And yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of like, I didn't need to know that about this person but now I do and I'll just forever think about it from time to time and be like oh yeah that happened but that co-worker is actually super sweet I love her because she has like a bunch of grandkids and she loves going to the movies but she loves like little kid movies like she loves Moana and you know the Trolls movie she loved she loved the movie Sing she saw the new Beauty and the Beast movie with her grandkids and absolutely loved it and so every time because I love going to the movies I don't know if you guys know that about me I love going to the movies okay I used to go to a movie like every single weekend like I love that um and so we both love movies so every time we're working together like we just sit down and chat about movies like oh what movies have you seen recently and like it's the best, but, um, yeah, she's fabulous. Uh, the one day she was telling me that she went with her husband to see a movie, but he, like, doesn't like the little kid movies like she does, and so they, like, saw, like, an adult movie, and she was like, yeah, I just, I couldn't stand it. It was just so boring. I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> you're my favorite person. I actually adore you, <laughs> so she's pretty awesome, and that's, like, the one thing I love about my workplace is that I work with a lot of really really good people you know who are very kind and and just friendly and good to talk to um, so that's like one thing that's really nice about where I work but you know the customers are all really not great and for the most part and you know it just kind of sucks but you know it's fine it's fine um, <laughs> maybe one day I won't have to work there anymore wouldn't that be fabulous um, I was actually really great. So I'm recording this on Easter weekend and Friday before Easter weekend, it was super lovely because all of like my favorite people to work with, or most of them anyways, were working and it was just like all of my friends and it was so sweet, especially like my best friend from school actually works at my workplace with me. Um, and so it's like really awesome when we have shifts together cause we just like hang out and talk and it's good times, but 
yeah, it's it's good times. So Friday was a really, really fun shift just because it was like all my friends. So it was like we were just hanging out, just chilling. It was good. It was good stuff. <laughs> um, ow. Excuse me while I completely bump into my whole desk. It's totally fine. One thing I want to say about this house actually is I'm pretty happy with the roofing. I think it's really cute. Um, you'll see pretty soon here, but the roof is pink and I think it's adorable. Um, I really like how it turned out actually. I think this whole house is really, really cute and I really like it. And I would actually really love to use it um, because I just think it's adorable. It's just so cute. Um, I also am a huge fan of the landscaping I did. I think it's very pretty. I did my best to make it like super colorful and I just think that it's adorable. I'm really, really happy with it. I really am. I like doing this thing where I have like the flower bed with like the rocks around it. I don't know. I just think it looks really cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, my good friend, um, you might know him, his username here on YouTube is Abaft Sims. I will link his channel in the, in the description. He is super amazing, like one of my best friends. I absolutely love him. He's so sweet and just fabulous in every way. Um, he told me build mode trick of if you hold down shift when you place an item, it like makes it copy again. It's hard to explain. So you don't have to like, I like keep placing the item over and over again. Like you know how when you place a chair, it automatically gives you another chair to place. If you hold down shift when you place anything, it like automatically gives you another one. Listen, it's a really helpful tip and thank you so much, friend, for telling me because you're fabulous and I'm so happy I know that. Anyways, here come the screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in my very next video. Bye guys.